My name is Michael Gonzalez. I'm from San Antonio, Texas, and I'm a graduate from the PhD program in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, and my advisor is Dr. Lowell Rick. My name is Kara Donnelly. I am from Old Lyme, Connecticut. My PhD is in English, and my dissertation director is Declan Kyford. My name is Nada Pavão. I am from Recife, Brazil, um, and I am getting my PhD in political science from Notre Dame, uh, and my advisor is Professor Scott Main Warren. My name is Mackenzie Warren. I grew up in Portland, Oregon. I'm getting my PhD in physics, and my advisor is Professor Grant Matthews. So my PhD work has focused on looking at how uh, acute care environments, which include um, emergency departments, urgent care units, um, areas like that where crisis situations occur, looking at how we can improve these areas for communication, improving situational awareness. It's very difficult for clinicians to communicate effectively. There's so many things going on, especially in emergency or crisis situations. Lots of communication exchanges. Um, if there's an emergency scenario, people are flooding in at different points in time, and that can drastically impact how, how healthcare is delivered to that patient. So we're taking essentially what they currently use, a, a paper-based uh, cognitive aid or reference guide, and we're creating a digital solution so that everybody in the room can kind of see where they're at, what's going on at any point in time. New people have a frame of reference, and we can thereby um, improve how, how that team functions as a whole so that uh, we can reduce some of those errors. And what we found with our research is that we can actually significantly improve situational awareness and reduce that workload. I'm studying uh, computational astrophysics, uh, so instead of using telescopes to, to do my research, I run computer simulations of stellar models. In particular, I'm interested in core collapse supernovae. So supernovae are the, the ends of lifetimes of massive stars. And we see these explosions all the time in nature, uh, but our simulations can't reproduce those explosions. So my dissertation really focused on nuclear and neutrino physics that may explain those uh, explosions that we see in nature. Core collapse supernovae are vital for understanding our, the evolution of our galaxy and our universe as well. Uh, core collapse supernovae are responsible for the production of heavy elements, everything heavier than a, about carbon or so. Uh, so understanding the processes that occur in supernovae are really vital for understanding where these fundamental elements come from. My dissertation is trying to understand uh, why voters um, support corrupt politicians in elections. So um, around the world there are many cases of really popular corrupt politicians that don't face any sort of you know electoral punishment so they they become candidates and they are elected into office or re-elected and i'm trying to understand why this happens because corruption is something uh bad and you know we all understand that corruption is something that it's undesirable in politics right one of the main explanations that the literature has offered so far was that voters don't punish corruption because um, simply because they don't care about corruption. And I thought this didn't make a lot of sense. So there was something, you know, there's this puzzle there, right, that, that I was trying to, to understand. And one of the main findings of my dissertation is that um, voters often don't punish corruption because especially in highly corrupt countries, they feel that all politicians are corrupt. So you simply, it makes no sense for a voter to base his or her vote on corruption when corruption is perceived to be a constant. My dissertation research is on the Booker Prize, which is a prize that's given out for the best work of literature published in the UK every year. And so I'm really interested in two things. The first thing I'm really interested in is what we might call a changing relationship between popular literature or literature that sells and literature that we think is artistically great. The other issue that I'm really interested in that happened alongside that is what we might call the decentering of Englishness from literature in English. Writers who came from all over the English-speaking world, from the former colonies, became much more important. And so my dissertation um, is looking at how those two changes within literary culture happened um, over the second half of the 20th century and, and into the 21st century. And I think it really deeply impacts both what we read and how we read today.